Hello good people, this is Sherry Shine with Sharika Originals here today with another tutorial. We're going to talk about um, marking metal on your Glowforge. Now, sometimes when people buy the Glowforge, they buy it because they want to engrave on metal. And Glowforge does not engrave on metal, but it does mark on metal. But you have to use a marking spray. Now, uh, the marking spray that I bought first was Surmark, which was you know, almost a hundred dollars a can and it worked great on stainless steel, but it didn't work for me on aluminum. And I had bought a bunch of aluminum because I didn't know, you know, most of what I learned in, uh, about working with my Glowforge was uh, by trial and error. So I had all this um, aluminum that I couldn't use, but it does work. Surmark works great on stainless steel, but it's so expensive. And this, this is uh, Surmark. Now, I became very disappointed with my Surmark mark because at, after I used it a few times, then my can clogged up. So I had spent $100 on this stuff that clogged up. Oh, I'm just so you know upset about that. Anyway, I tried, the next thing I tried was Brilliance. Brilliance is a marking spray that costs um, a lot less than Surmark. It still, still costs about some, I guess between 60 and $70 for this can which is still expensive, but it goes a long way. And it worked great on um, my stainless steel. Then I started hearing people talk about Enduramark. So I decided to, to try Enduramark. This is the Enduramark Black. And when I got the Enduramark, I read the can and it said that it worked on aluminum. I said, oh boy, let me test this. So that's what we're doing today, is we're testing um, we're comparing how Brilliance works versus Enduramark on aluminum. Here I have my aluminum charms and I'm going to spray Brilliance first and then Enduramark. And we're going to take it to the Glowforge and mark it uh, and then uh, see what happens. Okay, in my pre-test for the Endura Mark, I use Speed 100, which that, that's the lowest that uh, Glowforge would give me. I tried to put Speed 20 and it wouldn't let me, so 100 is the slowest speed that I can go. So, the custom setting that I'm going to set for Endura Mark is Speed 100 and Full Power. So, I'm going to save this. You see this plus here? It says Save As. So I'm going to give the setting a name of Endura Mark. Endura Mark. That way, I don't have to guess anymore. I'll have it set. And I'm going to mark this with E. E for Endura Mark. E. I'll be a little tiny word. Alright. So, enter settings. My setting is going to be. Where's my setting? Endure mark, okay. So, my setting is endure mark. I'm gonna center this a little bit better. All right. It says select material. Material height, okay. It says unidentified material in your glow forge. Select a material or specify material height if you're using an uncertified material. So this is certainly uncertified. This aluminum is uncertified material. 
So let's tell it to set focus. Set focus right here. I believe we're ready. Let's see what happens. You know what I forgot to do? Cancel this print. Go back to go back here. And I need to set the okay, yes, it will let me set uh all the lines per inch. I'm gonna set at 270. 270. Okay, lines per inch. Okay. Speed 100, full power. I'm gonna say save this. Okay, so now just, okay. All right, we're set now, and we can say ready. Oh my goodness! Nine minutes. Oh my goodness! This is so slow. Oh yuck! I'm going to use the same settings that I used. Uh, this is the brilliance. I'm going to use the same settings that I used for Enduramark. Okay, it looks like I must have missed a, evident, I don't think I sprayed the um, brilliance enough because it's, can you see it's missing some little spaces? Uh, but I think that was a user error because I normally have a, a better result with the brilliance. But there again, I've never used it on aluminum before. I'm very happy to see that I can mark aluminum because I made the mistake at the beginning of just buying aluminum and uh, the Surmark would not mark it at all. So I have all of these aluminum pieces. So the Endura mark, and I think I did spray it pretty good. Although it says spray lightly, but I sprayed about three, three sprays. But it looks really good. So that is the comparison of Brilliance versus Enduramark on aluminum. I'm very happy that I can use my Enduramark on aluminum. If you like this video, please subscribe, share the video, and like it. We're going to have lots more uh, videos to help you with your, with your art and your crafting. So, as always, this is Sherry Shine. Be blessed.